Brian Cole, thanks for taking the time. Uh, it's been a while. Catch us up. How are cross-country teams doing, men and women? Well, we've progressed through our, our regular season, and you always use that regular season to look at your lineups, to gain race experience, to hopefully accumulate some potential at-large points for the national qualifying process. Uh, so we go to a couple big events throughout the year. Uh, so those are, are now concluded, and you enter into your, your postseason or your championship season, and the first event is the Mountain West Conference Championship that way. And we're fortunate that we get to host this year here at the Air Force Academy. That happens about once every decade, so that's pretty special for um, this team and this group of, of cadets athletes in particular, um, but also to have alums come back and, and people in the community, very you know heavy military community here in Colorado Springs. So for them to be able to come out and, and watch the event, support the team's pretty special. So uh, so far, you know we, we've had some bumps in the road, but that's you know you probably have that every year. And I think one of the, the factors once you have a capable team uh, that understands what they need to do to be successful, I think one of the caveats that separates maybe the capable teams that could be really good from the ones that are really good is how you handle whatever adversity comes during the season. And so if you ever go into a season, expect not to have any. Uh, that's a bold strategy. Uh, you know, if, if it doesn't happen, you count yourself lucky and fortunate, but you can't expect that. So uh, we, we've kind of traversed some challenges over the course of the regular season, uh, hope to be better for it in the championship season. And then, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's wherever you're at versus, you know, whoever you're competing against and you go out and, and you do the best you can and, and compete as successfully as you're capable of. And we, we hope to do that starting off with the Mountain West meet here at Air Force. Yeah. On the Eisenhower Golf Course. You know, you think basketball, you think any other, most sports, wow, home home field advantage, football. Is there a home course advantage for cross country? I'm not sure if there's necessarily a home course advantage, but there, there's definitely something to be said for um, the, the dynamic of, of our sport. And, you know, when you train at 7,000 feet every day versus not training at 7,000 feet, I think there's a sense of familiarity. Uh, and then, you know, when you look at the, the course itself, uh, you know, we tried to make it as straightforward as possible. But, I mean, you have an absolutely gorgeous backdrop with, with the mountains right there. Um, and, and it is at home. And so I think when it, whether it's the, like I said, the alums coming out or just the sense of, okay, people are coming to your place, uh, you probably shouldn't look at it and say, we're going to compete better, we're going to compete harder. I mean, you should always wanting to be competing your best and, and trying your hardest. But um, I do think there is a reality to when, when it's, you know, at your place, um, that's pretty special. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Um, but it's going to be a grind, you know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's cross country, so it always is. It's not really a glamour sport. So you get out there and slog it out. Out, you know, but uh, I do think it's pretty special having it here at the Air Force Academy. Yeah. Uh, early weather forecasts look okay. Might get some bad weather here in the middle of the week, but by the end of the week it should be good. How do you prepare for even that? I mean, your sport has so much, so many different caveats you got to think about. Yeah, the harder it is, the, the better for us, I think. So uh, if it were snowing or muddy or windy or hot or really cold, like I, uh, our kids are pretty resilient. And so, you know, I kind of always <laughs> – you hope for challenging conditions because then it, it's a little bit more of a test of character versus maybe who's just the talented or who's the fastest. It becomes who is the most resilient or who's the toughest. And I think when it comes down to those factors, um, the cadets do very well. But, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a nice morning for running cross country, so we'll, we'll try to make it hard. Hard and, and hopefully that benefits us. What are you telling the guys and the gals going into this? Like, what do you, what are the expectations? And it seems to me like it's like each individual expectation, each individual person will have their own. Yeah, I think each person has um, a, a dynamic that they're uh, you know they're working through, and I think that's true of every sport and every season uh, for every athlete every year, right? Uh, so you want to go out and have the best run you're capable of individually, but I think when you're also trying to do whatever you can to help the team, and that becomes your focal point, the individual outcomes are performances tend to elevate because it's not just about you. You're out there doing it for uh, the other people that you're competing with. You're out there doing it for the name on the front of the jersey. And so I think that can be very, very powerful as you try to have the best performance that you're capable of. But when you look at both teams, uh, actually, I think the dynamics are, are relatively similar, actually. Um, and so on, on the men and the women's side, I think there are uh, maybe one, one or two teams um, or some certain individuals that you say, okay, they're the favorite. But on any given day, I think there are probably six teams on the men's side and six teams on the women's side that all have the, the potential to be a top three team um, at the end of the race. And so, you know, you go out there and you, you match up knowing who your marks are, um, how the course runs, how you want to implement your race strategy. And then ultimately, I think, you know, you're going to see some team scores at the end that are pretty close. And so then it comes down to, okay, you might not be able to beat that person, but can you beat those two people? And if you go out and you compete really successfully over the course of the run, you know, hopefully if those point totals are close for, for first, second, or third, or fourth, you know, hopefully we're, um, you know, higher up on, on that list. <laughs>
Perfect. Ryan Cole, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you.